Hey, it's Mario here, and in this video, we're gonna answer the good old question of does cardio kill your gains? And this is a question that I get asked a lot, and I'm gonna keep this video brief and short because I talked about cardio many, many different times. We're gonna leave all those videos in the description below with my favorite cardio, with all these things that you uh, want to learn if you're interested in getting to know more about cardio and how to implement it in your training. And the reason why I'm making this video specifically is because I was um, just looking at one of the studies that was pointed out to me by Dr. Brad Schoenfeld, a guy you want to follow if you're interested in the exercise science, if you're interested in the research part of it. He pointed out to the study and what the study really showed that was very, very interesting, a study of cardio and uh, resistance training and concurrent training, basically doing both at the same time, is that if you're a beginner, it doesn't really matter if you add a lot of cardio. So if you're just a beginner, if you're starting out, you'll actually get really good results from lifting weights and getting stronger and building muscle, even if you do a lot of cardio. So if you do three, four sessions of cardio a week, even five, six or whatever amount, your body will still grow if you expose it to resistance training, right? So there's none of that interference effect. But the more experienced you get, the more and more that a demand increases because your body just doesn't adapt anymore as easy as in those new gains phase, you have to become more and more specific. So you have to actually specialize and make a judgment call whether you wanna become the best runner you can be or you wanna maximize your muscle and strength gains, right? So it is a judgment call and it's a judgment call you must make yourself. What is your priority? And that's something that it is completely up to you. I know a lot of guys, I mean, who so are super, super into powerlifting and strength training and if they walk up the stairs, you know, they get, they lose their breath, you know, because they specialize for that. These guys can squat and, and they can deadlift hundreds and hundreds of pounds but when it comes to cardiovascular endurance, for example, they're not as specialized, so they don't do any cardio. At the same time, I know other side of the spectrum with guys who are just lifting weights because they wanna get a little bit of muscle gains, but their primary goal is to get good at basketball, to become better runners, to be, become better at soccer. You know, th these are different goals, and we don't judge we don't say which one is better or worse. There is no better or worse. It is simply a judgment call. So if your goal is to maximize muscle and strength, it's probably not a good idea to play basketball six days a week and do a bu whole bunch of running. And that is just simply the way your body works. And that is your judgment call, as I said. So make your call, make your decision, adapt your training, as well as if you're interested in simply burning more and more calories, if you're just looking at a cardio as a tool to burn more calories, I personally recommend you to do a lot more low intensity walking, adding more general activity in your life rather than looking at more deliberate activity because deliberate activity is better invested in, let's say, training more in the gym. And if you're looking into high intensity interval training because you think there's some kind of huge afterburn effect or like the epoch effect, I mean, that is just about five to 15% of your total caloric expenditure. So it's not a lot. So it, most people think it's a lot more than it actually is. So if you're really looking for burning extra calories, I would suggest increasing that through general activity, moving around, standing desk, treadmill desk, walking, doing, let's say, picking the stairs instead of the elevator, going to your groceries, walking to the gym, parking your car a little bit later, and you know, these things add up. And if you're looking into high intensity interval training because you feel like that is a good idea, and if you really enjoy that type of activity, you might wanna look into something called metabolic resistance training where you're doing circuits with lifts from the gym that you already know and how to do, you're already accustomed to those movements, compared to a lot of guys who I see, they go into sprinting and running and trying to, trying to become better sprinters all of a sudden, and that often results in an injury, and that is simply because your body is not accustomed to that kind of stimulants, and even trained sprinters get injured a lot, so uh, this is not something that <laughs> you wanna just start doing immediately. This is something you actually have to learn how to do properly. So that will be everything I wanna share with you guys in this video. So how much cardio you wanna add actually depends on your experience. Make sure to specialize if you've already been training for a while. That is about it. All the key points in the description below as usual. And let me know in the comments below how much cardio are you currently doing in your training? So hit me up in the comments below. Aside from that, make sure to hit that subscribe button below to support the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.